Recorded videos on Big Marker are classified as on-demand webinars, and you can either upload on-demand webinars from another source, such as a previous webinar provider, or you can host your standard webinar on Big Marker Live, record that session, and then turn it into an on-demand webinar. And regardless of which way you take, the process of actually editing and perfecting your recording before sharing it is the same. And where you want to start is on the Manage Webinar tab of your webinar page. You will notice your recording. Again, if you've already hosted your webinar, recorded it, it will publish here. Otherwise, if you're uploading it as an on-demand webinar, it will also share here as well. And you'll see this manage recording section here below. And on this section, a couple things to note. The first thing is that your recording is in an unpublished state. This means that it's only visible to you on the back end of your webinar page and it's not shared on the landing page. Once you have your edits and everything set the way you like, all you have to do is publish it and then share it on your landing page for people to come and view that recording. But before that step, you'll want to actually edit your player or video by clicking the edit video button here. Now this is an optional step, but if you wanted to customize the player with your own branding, um, colors, etc., add a thumbnail image to kind of cover this back uh, background image before pressing play instead of just this black background image, or add interactive features such as polls, handouts, pop-up offers, or Q&A, you can add any of these features before you go live. Now again, to add any of these interactive pieces, just click on the piece of content you want to add, upload it, and then you can actually pick the exact moment that you want it to share. Now, once you've actually populated your uh, video with all of the content you want to share, you can simply save and, uh, and exit, or you can also get the embed code if you wanted to embed this player on your own website. Now, again, once your recording is looking and feeling the way you want it to, simply click publish. And again, you can then view it on your landing page the way that it will display to attendees. And you'll notice actually on this page before you publish it that you can manage your privacy settings for this event as well. Now, you'll be looking at the recording privacy for this particular event. So just make sure that if you have it set to everyone, um, just noting that the default setting is that people must register in order to view this on-demand recording, but you can also limit access to the recording as well if you wanted to limit it beyond just anyone who has access to the link. So it's an important step before you publish to check out your privacy settings. Um, but again, once you publish it, it's live and ready to go.